music, but you tear me to pieces. So where does it come from? Scene that keeps playing on repeat. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or a big welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Kim. This is Cleaning with Kim, where we show you the real, the raw, and the ugly. In today's video, we are going to be cleaning up some progressively worse messes. I just realized when I was ed editing the video that the messes start out pretty small and then they progressively get really bad. <laughs> Um, but that just goes to show you that it's not always going to be the same and it's a very Instagram versus reality type of deal in this video so yeah either way if you're needing some cleaning motivation some inspiration some encouragement you're definitely in the right spot let's go ahead and get started As always, I'm going to go ahead and give you a complete overview of everything that we're going to be working on today. If this is your first time here, like I said, my name is Kim and I am a stay-at-home mom. I've got three chillins. Emma is 13. I homeschool her. Ella is four and Mason will be two years old on Wednesday. This coming up Wednesday in two days when you're watching this video. Oh, I can't believe it. I know. I think it's because deep down in my heart, I know he's my last. And so this one is like extra, extra bittersweet. I don't know. I'm very, very emotional over this birthday, <laughs> um, but it's going to be a good day. We have a bunch of fun stuff planned for him. So if you'd like to drop a happy early birthday to Mason in the comments, obviously he can't read, but um, that would be super sweet. Okay. So like I said, if this is your first time here, my name is Kim. This is Cleaning with Kim. Here on this channel, we are not like a regular cleaning channel. Um, I don't live in a huge aesthetically pleasing home. Um, I am the manager of the household, I like to call myself, and so I do everything around here, and I am not superwoman, and so I cannot get it all done. You will probably never ever see a get it all done video from me. I think I tried to do one of those before in the past, and I realized how just unrealistic it was for me because there's there's no way that I could get it get it all done. I can rarely find time to clean my main living area daily, which is the living room and the kitchen. But what I can do is I can empathize with you and I can say I totally know what it's like to be paralyzed by a mess because you got too busy or it just wasn't your priority right then and there or whatever it may be and now you are feeling super overwhelmed from the anxiety, from the depression, from your mental, physical, emotional struggles, whatever you may be going through, because there is not a person out there in the world right now that isn't going through something. And we go through so much that the very last thing we need is to feel bad about our homes when we are trying our best. But what we can do is we can do what we can and give ourselves grace for the rest of it. You're already doing so amazing and I know this because you're here and you're getting that cleaning motivation that inspiration that encouragement you want to do this for your family and if your family is clean and fed and they have a roof over their head you are already doing so so good so you're not gonna come here and we're not gonna get it all done but we are gonna do what we can and we're going to get it done together. And we're going to feel awesome about that. So that is here. That is Cleaning with Kim. And if that sounds like your jam, go ahead and hit that subscribe and the bell. It's completely free. It's just going to let you know every time that I upload a video.
So at the beginning of this video, I told you guys that unintentionally, this video ended up being very progressively worse throughout the video. As you could see, the kitchen was not too bad. And that's because I have been doing pretty good. Got to give myself a pat on the back with trying to get my kitchen cleaned up every morning, first thing in the morning, right after breakfast. It doesn't always happen and that's okay. But when I can, I, I have been trying to do that. I feel like it kind of just sets me up for morning success. I actually just recently put a reel out um, for the three things that I do to kind of set my morning up as, I, as much as I can. And and um, that is one of them. So the kitchen wasn't too horrible. But as you can see, the living room was a little bit worse. And then by the time we get into my master bedroom, it's like, don't judge me. Okay, because it was really, really bad in there. My toddler's playing there throughout the day. My four-year-old does her rest time. I put that in air quotes because normally she's just jumping around my room, getting into everything. Um, so it, it doesn't stay clean for sure. And it was really bad. I hadn't, I hadn't been in there to clean it in a couple weeks. And so we definitely needed to get in there and get it done. But that just goes to show you that like, even though out here might look good, I promise you three more rooms in my house are a disaster. And that is where the Instagram versus reality thing comes in. And I know we all do it. You know how like we'll want to like put something, post something on social media. And so you like kick all the toys out of the way in the background and then get your kids to sit there and smile. And, and, and behind you is just like destroyed. It's a destroyed mess. And that's really just how a lot of people's lives are. And so as I was editing this, I was like, hmm, this is a really cool video because it just shows that just because you see one thing, it doesn't mean that behind the scenes, it is something completely different. And you would be so surprised how many people you probably actually have that in common with. So that's why I like to do these videos too, because if you go back and look at my videos, I mean, they will range anywhere from not really a mess to a complete disaster. You can't even see the counter or the floor mess. And that's just because my day to day is not going to look the same. I mean, look, look at my, look at my youngins fighting and it's, it's just, it's not always going to be rainbows and flowers and unicorns because that's that's not how life is and I feel like the internet is very deceiving when it comes to that aspect and it's really really easy for us to get sucked into all of that but I'm gonna get into more of that in just a little bit go ahead and grab some laundry and do some laundry with me or go switch over your clothes whatever you need to do You got issues that makes you a fuss, but someone's gotta change. If we never ever met before, if it never opened up a door, yeah, 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 yeah. If we never ever got to start, if it never opened up my heart, yeah, 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 yeah. You're about to lose me. Just like that, just like that. You're 
Welcome to my reality. So this is my reality. And if I'm being 110% completely honest, I knew one way or another I was going to get in here and I was going to clean this room on this day, but I wasn't going to film it. And I wasn't going to film it because I was like, I am going to be judged so hard for this. (laughs) And it's true. It it is true. There's going to be people that come in and it's fine because we're going to weed them out. There's going to be people that come in and they're going to try to make me feel bad about myself. And that's just the internet in a nutshell. Now, I don't want to sit here and bash the internet because the internet can be such a wonderful, beautiful place. It really, really can. But it can also be the most toxic thing that you could possibly do with your day. Not only with bullies, we know the internet bullies come out in full force, the keyboard warriors, the people who would never ever in a million years say that to your face, feel super confident behind a keyboard and a screen. But the other side of it that I feel like isn't really talked about a lot is the comparison. It's so easy to get online and to scroll and see nothing but gorgeous homes and women with brand new wardrobes and brand new cars and um, just their happy families and and all that. And when you scroll by those things, you're not thinking, oh, I bet they've got a big mess behind the screen. Like it really, you really have to stop and change your mindset when you think about that kind of Instagram versus reality thing. And let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with the big, beautiful homes and the brand new cars and all of those things. If you've got it like that, that's amazing. Great for you. I like, seriously, I'm, I'm not even being smart. I like about that. And it, it could, could for sure be goals. Like I have goals. I would love a big, white, beautiful farmhouse on a big piece of property. And I want chickens and maybe a, a Himalayan cow. They're so cute, you guys. I, I want all of those things. Maybe a lake filled with some fish. And that is that is goals. But when the goals change 
how content you are with the life that you have and the beautiful life that you've been given, that's when it turns toxic. And it's such a thin line that it's so easy to teeter over into it and not even realize what you're doing because it makes you compare. And then the comparison the comparison makes you not content. And then the content can turn into just this toxic mindset that makes you ungrateful, ungrateful for things that you should so be grateful for. And I'm not standing up here on a soapbox because I don't know what this is like. Because if I'm being completely honest, I struggle with this every single day, especially being on social media. I mean, it's part of my job, I guess you could say. I'm, I'm working on this platform every single day in one way or another. And a lot of that is supporting other women that are doing the same thing. And a lot of those women, their lives don't look like mine. And so it's really easy for me to be like, oh man, I wish I had that. And in the same breath, completely forget about what I do have. Comparison is the worst. And we have got to switch that comparison back to contentment for everything that we have. Stop comparing your motherhood to mothers that have it all together on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, etc. They're probably lying. Stop comparing your home to others. This world is expensive (laughs) it's not like it was when our parents or even our parents parents were kids for example i remember going to the grocery store and filling up my buggy then getting to the checkout and it was like a hundred less than a hundred dollars when i was a kid and my mom would tell me like if we fill all the way to the top it's a hundred dollars now you fill that buggy all the way up to the top and it's easy three four hundred dollars and if you have a roof over your head like i was saying earlier clean kids accessible water food on your table you are doing amazing and you are doing so much better than a lot of other people there's always going to be someone that has it worse than you and there's always going to be someone that has it better than you and that is just life life is hard enough and compare comparison is so easy like i said i struggle with it daily Social media can be a great place to lift you up, but it can also so easily bring you down. And I don't want any of you to fall for that trap. God has you exactly where you need to be in this moment. So count your blessings, keep moving forward, and know you will be taken care of no matter your situation. And I pray for all of us to have a heart of contentment daily from here on out, no matter what our financial status or what our lives may look like.
and that's going to be it for today's video y'all thank you so much for being here with me i hope you got a ton of motivation inspiration and encouragement from today's video if you liked it make sure you give it a big thumbs up it helps it reach more people who may need to see it and drop me a comment if you'd like to talk and we can chat and hang out and i will see you all in the next one have a blessed day Dream.